Okay, so we're doing a little bit of hoof trimming on a yearling doe, um, which of course has been let go for some time. So as you see, they're quite overgrown. The idea behind hoof trimming <laughs> is to go ahead and trim the outer wall first, which is this here, the long part, and then we'll trim the heel. So, after I cleaned it, and of course, some of them don't want to always cooperate, and they jerk. Does it hurt them? No, it doesn't hurt them. They don't like, necessarily, some don't like to be held. Um, and by the way, the questions... I'm having my daughter film, and the grandkids are watching. This is, I think, their first time of ever watching hooves getting trimmed. So, why, why do, like, why do, why do their, why do goats' toenails, like, their hooves get overgrown? Well, it's no different on your fingernails. Trimming the hoof is the same thing as trimming your fingernails. It doesn't hurt them as long as you don't trim too far, just the same as your fingernails. So the idea is to trim the overgrown area. Some goats' hooves grow faster than others. Um, some don't need to be trimmed too often at all. Okay, now basically what I've done is I've trimmed off all the outer wall. As you see, it's a rough cut. Now I'm gonna trim the heel. So the idea behind the heel is to lay your nippers or clippers, whichever, flat with the pad here. Hang on. <laughs> oh, we gotta go through this little <laughs> fit here. And then come back and snip. Don't be afraid. Trim the pad. It doesn't hurt them. She's just having a fit because she's spoiled. <laughs> now, as you see, right here, see that little kind of. It's, hang on. <laughs> little pinkish color or brownish color. Okay, that says that you're getting close enough. You don't need to go no further. Okay, her hooves are naturally white, so I know that's not a dark color that's supposed to be in there. So we'll stop right there, because if we go deeper, it'll draw blood. I don't like drawing blood. <laughs> so, we'll just keep trimming. Generally speaking, the back hooves, as you well know on goats, they don't paw with the back hooves, they paw with the front hooves. So they don't wear the back hooves down unless you've got a lot of rocky ground that they're on. We just keep trimming away. Why doesn't the why don't why doesn't it hurt the goats when you trim their hooves off? Well, it's like I was saying before, it's very similar to trimming your own fingernails. It doesn't hurt. I know but um, what if it didn't hurt if you went too far? Well if if I go too far and I draw blood, I imagine it would hurt. Um, generally speaking, you go a little at a time until you're comfortable or you see a lot of pink. Um, what I like to do on the back hooves especially is go, go a little bit deeper than I would on the front hooves because I know they don't wear them down as fast. So I just keep going and going and going. So what if you accidentally, like, what draw if you blood? Yeah. Well, what if I accidentally happen? draw blood, now, if I accidentally draw blood and I'm not finished trimming, then I'll keep trimming and just avoid that area. And then generally what we'll do is treat it with iodine because iodine is a nice antiseptic and it keeps, uh, 
it cleaner. But generally speaking, if it draws blood, the blood in itself is good, like humans. If you bleed, that's a good thing because bacteria, any bacteria that might have gone in, comes out. So, so now, this, what do you think this is? What does that look uh, like? A rash? It, it looks look like, like a rasp because uh, some rasps have like the rasps that people buy for like humans, like for their feet, dry skin. Yeah, for, like, it's dry very skin. Okay, it's very similar. Those, are, yeah, that's a like a pumice stone or something. Rasp is used like for horses. It's just a a normal blade, a metal blade that goes all the way through. This particular tool is known as a rasp or a pocket plane. It is a blade that does cut, and trust me, I've taken off knuckles if I do it wrong. But the idea is that we are going to keep, we're going to even out the hook. Because right now we have all these bumps and lumps and it's uneven. Um, especially if you show goats, it's really great to have because you want the hoof to be very even. So I'm just going to show how to use this. It has a nice little end in here, which of course you will put your thumb, thumb and finger in, and you'll hold the hoof nice and flat in a secure position. And you'll just go always work away from you. Just like if you were grating cheese, it's almost exactly like grating cheese. You'll just keep working it, and you'll keep the hooves together so that they both get worked at the same time, if at all possible. And if you need to, you'll work a little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side, and you'll just keep going. And of course, this does take some practice to do because you do have to hold the hoof very firm and in place and now she's going to behave for a moment knock on wood <laughs> why why does the uh grass why like why does it take off the uh, dry skin well it takes off the the hoof and it evens off the wall with the pad of the hoof all of this I mean, I could keep working at it, but I'm not going to show her. I just wanted to show you how it's pretty even now. So that both hooves are fairly flat. And she will wear it down the rest of the day. But, as you see, we don't have that lumping. It makes it nice and even. So, and there we have it.